method of Lagrange. What do we use, beta? Method of Lagrange. Abhi kya hota hai? What is method of Lagrange? We want to go ahead and we want to understand that. So first of all, try to understand, beta, ki method of Lagrange is very easy to use when we talk about n variable. Ye jo substitution method tha, it's a bit difficult when we talk about n variables. Thoda mushkil ho jata hai solve karna. So Lagrange is easier. Comparatively asaan hai. And additionally, in Lagrange, we have something which is called as, jo bhi aap seekho ge dheere dheere, there is something which is known as Lagrange multiplier. And due to the presence of Lagrange multiplier, we are able to have an additional interpretation. Ek extra interpretation ho jati hai is Lagrange multiplier ki wajah se. So what is that extra interpretation? We will talk about that. So, hai beta. so I'm taking the first case now. This is case one. And case one is called two variable, uh, one equality constraint. So, hai baat ko. I want to go ahead and I want to maximize this function. But ye jo function hai, ye ek two variable function. And I'm also given a constraint. Constraint is also two variable. It's like this. Jo humne abhi bas upar hi question ki hai. Same that, huh? So what have I done? What is my two variable in that case, beta? Maximize utility. Utility can be x, y. Subject to budget constraint, which is px into x plus py into y equal to m. So, yahan par do constraint hai. Uh, do uh, variables hai x, y. Here also I have two variables x, y. And additionally, if you go ahead and you will see, what will you find, beta? That this is an equality constraint. I am taking this as an equality constraint. Take it better. Now, before we go ahead, let us try to understand this in terms of a graph. A graph so much there. Huh? So imagine you are in a 3D space. Q 3D Q better. 3D space because you have. I want to depict utility also. No? Matab, ye Z variable hai na? So just try to understand. Huh? Let me just take this a bit below. So try to see something like this. Beta, when X is 1, Y is 1, utility will be 1 into 1, 1. When X is 2, Y is 1, utility will be 2. When X is 3, Y is 1, utility will be 3. When x is 1, y is 3, utility will be 3. You know? So as you fluctuate both x and y, your utility is fluctuating. So there must be one z axis also, a third axis bhi chahiye, jis pe hum utility ko depict kar pae. So This is what I have done here. This is my x axis. But this is my y axis. And this is my z axis. X, y, and z. Okay. Clear? Hua? So it's like when x was 1 and y was 1, to my utility is 1. Hmm. Achha, now just try to think. There are a lot of x, y, which is the utility is the same. Mil rahi hogi. x, 1, y, 1 is the utility 1. Hai x half y2 से utility 1 आई, x2 y half से utility 1 आई, x1 by 3 y3 से utility 1 आई, x3 y1 by 3 से utility 1 आई. So there will be multiple, there will be multiple such points which will give you the same z value. Right? So beta, if I just draw all x, y's. If I just draw all x, y's holding z constant. Holding z constant. Matlab, main z as a function of x, y to kar rahi hai. But now I am plotting all x, y's holding z constant. Ye dekho. Utility har ek mein one hai. 
then what I get is a 2D diagram. And that is called as a level curve. So here, this is a level curve. What is happening here? That X and Y fluctuate, kar rahe, but along a curve, the value of Z is constant. Z ki value is constant. It's not clear. Hua. Now try to understand. Thoda sa samaj down. But this is my function. This is my function. Hai. F of X, Y is equal to Z. Now what did I do? I have a constraint draw. This is my constraint. I have this as my constraint. Px into x plus py into y equal to m. This is my constraint. So I am just going ahead and plotting this constraint. Beta, the highest value of this function, the maxima of this function is a. A mein dekho Z ka value kitna zyada hai. Hame to Z ko maximum karna hai na. I want to maximize this Z. Which is a function of X and Y. This is Z. Function of X and Y. Beta. Mera aim Z ki maximum value nikalna hai. I want to find out the maximum value of Z. But jaise hi mein ye constraint ko picture mein lekar aati hoon, as I get this constraint into the picture, am I able to reach A? No. A is unattainable. Ye constraint ki wajah se ye meri maximum value reachable hai. So I want to go as close to the highest value as possible. I want to go, please write down. You want to go as close to A as possible. Because beta A is maximum value. Hai. But because this constrained picture, mein hai, because I have to maximize it subject to this constraint that I have, but a maximum I am able to reach is this K. Is this clear? Now, if I have a level curve, if I have a 2D diagram, mein dekho, so, this is A. Hai. But that means this A depicts the highest value. So, A is depicting the highest value. Depicts highest value. But this is my constraint in the 2D diagram. ये constraint को हमें अच्छा ये constraint इस level curve को भी touch कर रहा है इसको भी कर रहा है इसको भी कर रहा है इसको भी कर रहा है the constraint is cutting many level curves many levels of z हर देखो हर level curve एक z को represent करता है every level curve represents z ये clear है बात हमें क्योंकि हमने क्या बोला level curve का definition that when we hold z constant then we get the level curve so but this is representing one level of z से Z1, इसने Z की दूसरी value दी, इसने Z की तीसरी value दी. But beta, we know something that the closer you are to A, जितना हम A के पास जाते जाएंगे, the more the maximum value of Z. So beta, our aim, ये level curves में से which curve should, should we choose? That level curve or that point which is the closest to A. Jo A ke closest hai, that point which is the closest to A, that should be chosen. Thik hai, ye jo mera constraint hai, it is cutting multiple level curves. It is cutting this point also, K also, it is cutting D also, E also, F also, G also. It is cutting multiple level curves. Bohat saar level curves ko cut kar hai. But what is the curve that it is cutting which is the closest to A? Bita K. A point closest to A ho na? So this becomes the point which is maximum subject to the constraint. Is constraint ke hode hoe, jo maximum point we are able to reach that is this K. Ye clear ho ki baat ab? Everyone is clear with it. So bita at K kya ho hai? What is happening at the point of K? At K, these two curves are just touching each other. Just touching. So, from here, we derive an important property. 
that at that point k the slope because they are just touching each other and when two curves just touch each other just cut each other that is the point when they are tangent to each other and beta what does tangency implies tangency means that the slopes are equal to each other so the slope of the level curve is equal to the slope of the constraint the slope of the level curve is equal to slope of constraint clear hui baat bhi kyunki wo tangent hai kyunki wo just touch kar rahe hain ek dusre ko now beta ab aage ka question aata hai what will be the slope of the constraint बेटा किसी भी चीज का जब मैं स्लोप निकालती हूं वेन एवर वी गो अड एंड वी फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ एनी थिंग देन द स्लोप ऑफ एनी थिंग कैन बी रिटर्न एज डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सो इफ माई कंस्ट्रेंट इज जी ऑफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू सी तो बेटा कैसे मैं निकालूंगी हाउ विल आई डिफरेंशिएट इट डिफरेंशिएट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डी एक्स डिफरेंशिएट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई dy वाई इज इक्वल टू डी सी ऐसे ही करते हैं वेन एवर यू हैव अ फंक्शन जेड एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई तो इसका डिफ्रेंसिएशन कैसे होगा बेटा डी जेड इज इक्वल टू एफ डैश एक्स डी एक्स प्लस एफ डैश वाई डी वाई ऐसे डिफ्रेंशिएट कर देते हैं अच्छा इफ आई जस्ट को बैक हेयर तो बेटा सी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट ये तो एक कॉन्स्टेंट था सो बेटा इफ सी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट सो डी सी तो जीरो हो जाएगा ना कॉन्स्टेंट का डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज जीरो सो वट विल आई गेट आई विल गेट जी डैश एक्स डी एक्स जी डैश वाई डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो जी डैश एक्स डी एक्स विल बी माइनस जी डैश वाई डी वाई तो बेटा डी वाई बाई डी एक्स विल बी वॉट टेक दिस इयर दिस इयर माइनस जी डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश so your dy by dx that you will get it will be minus g dash x by g dash y this will be the slope of your constraint constraint ka slope ye ho jaye beta next question puchte hain ab hum apne aap se what will be the slope of the curve to curve kya tha curve ka equation kya tha z is equal to f x y same just differentiated so dz will be f dash x dx plus f dash y dy beta hum to ek level curve ki baat kar rahe the na we were talking about level curve level curve mein tangency meet hui thi na so level curve ka level curve ka ek assumption kya tha what do we assume along the level curve we assume that z is constant along a level curve so will there be any change in z dz will be zero because this is a longer level curve so beta if dz is zero then what will you have you will have f dash x dx plus f dash y dy is equal to zero so yahan se you will get dy by dx is equal to minus f dash x by f dash क्लियर हो गई ये बात दोनों का स्लोप आई फाउंड आउट एक का आ गया माइनस जी डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश बाय द अदर वन इज माइनस एफ डैश एक्स बाय एफ डैश बाय सो बेटा व्हाट विल आई गेट फ्रॉम हियर व्हाट इज द कंडीशन नेगेटिव नेगेटिव विल कैंसिल आउट जी डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश वाई शुड बी इक्वल टू एफ डैश एक्स बाय एफ डैश वाई सो बेटा दिस शुड बी योर कंडीशन नंबर वन for you to optimize for you to do a maxima or a minima the slope of the curve of constraint slope of constraint huh, should be equal to the slope of the objective function the slope of the objective function and the slope of the constraint should be equal to each other ye hamari condition number 1 aa gayi this is our first condition beta condition number 2 whatever whatever x star y star you find out it should satisfy the constraint wo constraint ko satisfy karna chahiye 
इट मस्ट सेटिस्फाई द कंस्टिट्यूट क्लियर हो ये बात ओके बेटा लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हाँ सो आई हैव टू मैक्सिमाइज एक्स वाई सब्जेक्ट टू दिस कंडीशन तो बेटा पहले हम स्लोप ऑफ एक्स वाई निकाल लेंगे स्लोप ऑफ एक्स वाई क्या था डिफरेंशिएट एफ डैश एक्स बाई एफ डैश पाई था ना सो जस्ट चेक दिस आउट एफ डैश एक्स बाई एफ डैश पाई सो डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई सो बेटा वेन यू विल डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स यू विल गेट वाई एक्स एक x की तरफ से कर रहे हो वाई इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स इज वन इन टू वाई बट अब वेन यू विल डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई देन एक्स इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट तो एक्स को कॉन्स्टेंट रखोगे डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ वाई विल बी वन सो एक्स इन टू वन इज एक्स सो इट विल बी एक्स नाउ बेटर फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ दिस सो इट वॉज जी डैश एक्स बाय जी डैश वाई सो डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स क्या आ जाएगा टू Differentiated with respect to y, तो बाकी सब कॉन्स्टेंट है सो इसका डिफरेंशिएशन विल बी वन सो इक्वेट द टू वॉट विल यू हैव वाई बाय एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू सो बेटा फ्रॉम यूर यू विल गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स क्या आ जाएगा वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स क्लियर हो बात बेटा सेकेंड कंडीशन क्या थी इट शुड सेटिस्फाई द कंस्ट्रेंट तो कंस्ट्रेंट में डाल दो वॉट इज माई कंस्ट्रेंट My constraint is two x plus y is equal to m. So my constraint is two x plus y is equal to m. But instead of y, I will put two x. So y ki jagah pe I have plugged in two x. So I will get four x is equal to m. So x will be m by. So this is my next answer that x should be m by four. But a y kya tha? Two times x tha na? So two into m by four, which will be m by two. So this is the first. two methods that we have learned one by converting the constrained problem into unconstrained problem ye pehla tarika hai second by solving through the method of graph jisme humne do conditions derive ki that slope of constraint should be equal to slope of objective function and the point should satisfy the constraint theek hai beta